Like, yeah, we would so it was, like, you just yeah. give it a yeah. The time. My name is Juan, Juan Pablo Gomez Sanchez. My name is Nicholas Rodriguez. I'm 21 years old, I'm a senior at FSU. I'm in Flying Bison and I'm 26. I'm the sax player and I sing a song on uh, Flying Bison, uh, which is a band that me and my friend Nico created. So one day I was thinking about Appa from the Avatar's Last Airbender. And then one day I was thinking Flying Bison, you know? It's a cool word. It sounds kind of like Arctic Monkeys or something. It'd be like a great band name. Like, oh shit, why, why not make it my band name? And so, like our first performance, we didn't have a name or anything. And they like screamed at me like, yo, just say whatever that we're, whatever band. And I thought about that and I was like, all right, we're flying bison. Even though it's very new and it's at the, the very tail end of my time here at FSU, it means honestly the world to me because this is something that with the help of my friends, it's uniquely mine. I love to say that that I'm a member of the Flying Bison. You know, I love all the work that, that me and the band have put into it. And this is something that contains my identity as well as all the other identities into something great. Maybe like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was great, that was great. We decided to make it half Latin music, giving it a very unique element to our sound. Well, I'm 100% Colombian, born and raised there. I came here when I was like 13. Uh, so it's inevitable. That I feel like the Colombian culture is always within me. Everything I do, everything, the way I view the world, my brain is set up in Spanish and everything. So even when I'm composing and writing in English, which is what I mostly do, it's there. Growing up, I had a huge identity crisis because of my culture. You know, when you're the only Hispanic kid or one of the few Hispanic kids in your school it's you very much have this very complicated relationship with your upbringing and like I said my identity is inexplicably tied to to music so it's my next step in embracing my own identity as a musician and as a Argentinian Peruvian Hispanic person. I can't deny yes I, I love I love the attention when we're on stage. I feel comfortable, I feel confident. I feel like I'm meant to be here. I have so many things to say and so many things that I want to express and share. And it's beautiful when we get those responses and those people who like relate to it. And we want more people to relate to it. We want to represent a lot of people. We want to, I want to go back to Colombia and perform there and say, yeah, this is where it all began for me and for them to feel proud as I am of them. Thank you guys, thank you very much. When I'm, you know, staring down a crowd of 100 people, I, I feel like that is where I'm most in my prime. I can be able to play something and it has a certain value that people appreciate out of it. And that warms my heart. <laughs> music has been, it's been necessary in my life where I've been playing music and interested in music since, since forever. I think my parents have a video of me singing a Spanish song when I was like three years old in front of a, a, a restaurant, something, something crazy like that. When it comes to music and performing, it's something that I'm just like driven to do like all the time. Like I want to do it, I wake up thinking about it. Flying Bison has allowed me to be what I want to be, which is a performer, a musician. I want to keep writing and just playing and hopefully lip off of that. Remember when we played Sunflower last time? Oh, wait. It's super difficult, you know? Like, people will, will say, like, bro, you need to get, a, like, a real job, or, like, your family will be pressuring you and stuff like that. 
Uh, but at the end of the day, I, it's just about not giving up. You know, the, all the people that have made it is because they never gave up. So that's what I'm trying to do. You know you're a musician when you wake up and you're still a musician because it is not gonna get easier and it is not gonna, you know, give you a silver platter. It's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of compromise, it's a lot of amazing times where you'd finish your show and we're like, wow, we fucking killed that. Everyone loved that. Like, like we, we are doing something here. Like, like, we are making art. And I don't know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful with all the bad and the good. On sax, we have one JP. And music is always there. Music decorates time. It just makes life that much more beautiful. If there's a room where I'm somewhere and there's no music, it almost feels naked. Like it feels like there's always something missing. I genuinely want to, to keep music as a sort of thing that never leaves. I want to be 90 years old and still be playing music. I don't think I could be happy if music was not not a significant part of my life. Now, I don't ever want it to end. If I had my way, I would